Hey everybody and welcome back. Today we are in the Unreal Engine and we are going to be building the gallery, the art gallery. Uh, I'm only modeling the basics of it today. Um, so we're just going to get straight on into it. Um, so we're just going to chuck a box in there. Um, let's just get it back to the zeros. Okay, um, what we want to do is bring that down to 20. <clears throat> okay, now 200, I think these, the unit of measure are in centimeters. So these cubes these squares here are like one meter squares so um i think we had it at about 20 we need that one as 20 2000 so that's like 20 meters and then 100 um 10 meters so that was the size in blender that we were doing um i'm not i can't really anyway yeah i think it was something like that anyway so we're going to just build the walls in there um so we want that as 20 because that's the thickness of the walls it's just Get, trying to get used to the um, controls just feel a bit odd you know where you use blender all the time it just feels like well odd but that is life and um, two one two three oh I'm gonna move that up there so that's our <clears throat> wall our first wall um and we need it free i'm going for like a three meter high wall um okay so that's point that's 20 centimeters 20 centimeters that'll do on it and then we'll just create <clears throat> another one there So the X was 20. X is 20, 2000, and 300. And then we just bring that in that to the line. So I was going to build this in um, Blender and then just import it, but it sort of it was probably a lot easier just to build it in the Unreal Engine, to be honest. Um, yeah, um, oh, that one's three hundred. That one is twenty. And that one is a thousand. And then we just bring that out here. And then up to align it. And then so that is one thousand twenty three hundred. 1,000, 20, 300. Bada beam, bada boom. Let's get that into the center there. And then just push it on back. So that is going to be the outline of the art gallery. <clears throat> 
Um, I'll need to put a wall in the center. Um, let's go for 600. <coughs> go for 600 and then 300 high. Because we just want that split down the center. And see how that goes. And then also we're just going to... Um, also that one... We want 300 high, 300. And then these are just going to be 50 mil, uh, fifty centimeters. So it's half a meter. I mean, we can adjust that. We can adjust that. That's not a problem. Um, yeah, that looks a-okay for now. So we're just gonna, I don't really know. Um, <clears throat> so let's get the measurements. 50, 50, 300. 50, 50, 300. Okay, and then just bring it on back. And then we may need to move that somewhat. To be honest with you, this actually looks bigger than what I expected. Um, so we may need to just mess about until we've got a nice sort of size which is okay for us to use um, for the gallery. We may, so we may need to make these columns a bit larger, um, but we will see when we... Have I got anything in there? Okay, so this is pretty much what where we are. So I mean, maybe the columns do need to be a bit bigger. Maybe 75. Um, blah, blah, blah. 75. 75. Seventy-five, seventy-five, seventy-five. I think that might be a nice sort of size, if I'm honest. Seventy-five. Okay, let's get on in there and have a little looky. Yeah, I think that's a little bit better. At least you can have like a portrait portrait picture on there and on there and then a couple on the partition and then we've got bits of the wall we can go on and then the same round here and um, what also what I'm gonna do is bring in our sofa but we'll change the color of it um, and then maybe we can have like a sofa here so we're just gonna like fill it up with bits and pieces that we can that we've used in the previous <clears throat> um, previous videos um, so we could have a sofa in the center there and the sofa in the center there or maybe like two sofas one pointing so you could be like here sat down here or a sofa the other side and sat down here see what I mean 
let us see we'll have to bring it in and see what see what is what um, but that is for now the size of our gallery which is okay because there's only got two artists on the website at the moment so there's enough there for their for the art that they've got um, yeah and then we'll just add in the bits and pieces and the lighting we're going to use spotlights um, so we're going to use like spotlights on here and then we could have like one there one there but we'll rotate so it's pointing at the it's almost like spotlights on the roof on the ceiling pointing at the photos so that's what it'll be like and that's what we'll do to yeah so it'll be like that I mean that's pretty cool we'll have the photo the pictures there highlighted by the spotlights I say we'll have a couple around these walls maybe <clears throat> obviously we need to adjust the height because one looks higher than the other but that doesn't matter that doesn't matter there we go that looks better <clears throat> So that's what we'll do and then we'll do the same on the other side as well yeah I'll have to have a little think about what's what um, but that's it that's it so far that's where we are um, so we're going to use the Unreal Engine that's for sure um, and then we'll see because obviously we'll have to bring in the photos the paintings um, I might do those in Blender we'll do the paintings in Blender and then we can just import them as an FBX or an OBJ file and just chuck the textures on top which will be okay I have actually just I've installed I've done like a blank document on this one started a new project with blank with the starter content so we have got some sort of textures here um, I mean we could go with like a nice wooden floor like that I mean that looks pretty sick doesn't it hey that looks pretty good <clears throat> and um, yeah we'll have to sort the textures out because I don't really know what to do on the walls I don't want to do I mean it could go old school oh I think this added it to the floor <laughs> oh well so we could go on there just add like a brick effect and on the this is just for now we're not we won't keep it let's try a different brick on that one and see what happens yeah that's not bad not great but it's not bad and then we can just move the flooring looks crud oh, it just looks crud well do we'll do something different I don't like that um, so yes this is where we are at the moment I've got to bring in the photos or the paintings 
um, we'll import them into here. I've also got to put in the um, first person game control. Um, I say normally I use Unity, um, so I'm more, I can use that a lot better than Unreal, but for like buildings and that, Unreal, the Unreal Engine to me does have better lighting, um, which is why we're using it. Um, but don't shoot me, I'm only the, I'm only the user. I know everybody's got their preferences. I know people love Unity. I love Unity. I think it's great. I've done loads, loads of projects in Unity. I just wanted to use <clears throat> Unreal. I just wanted to use the Unreal Engine um, purely because it purely because of the lighting. I just love, I love it. I think it's great. So that's where we are. Um, so that's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Um, and don't forget to have a great day. <laughs> yeah. Um, yes. Anyway, yeah. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Don't forget to take a look at our Patreon page. Um, we've got lots of models on there and tutorials. Um, and we will see you on the next video. Um, moving forward on the gallery. Um, so thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Ta-da.